Friends, we pay a great deal of attention to our speaking skills. There is an unlimited amount of courses and workshop and trainings available to help us to speak well. We are taught that speaking, especially public speaking, is a highly desirable and sought after skill. Public speaking is considered to be an essential ability for anyone to get on in life, to sell themselves. However, listening is every bit as important, perhaps even more important than speaking. Everyone desires to be heard and understood. And in our age of social media, it seems more important that we stop speaking and listen more intently to one another more often. So many of the difficulties and divisions we face are because we no longer are attuned to listening. Not hearing, but listening. So today let's take a quick look at five ways that we can improve our listening skills. The first one is to be present. Have you ever been speaking to someone and found that they are distracted by something else and not really listening to you? You probably thought this was annoying, frustrating and disrespectful. At that point, you may have even become angry or shut the conversation down or the person out. When someone is speaking, it's vitally important to be fully present to that person. If something else is going on in your mind, like a call you need to make or a text you need to send, please let them know. Do what you need to do. And when you are finished, then tell them you are ready to listen. I think there is an etiquette that we need to develop, especially when it comes to mobile devices. You see, when listening, we need to pay attention not only to the words, but the tone of voice, the facial expressions, and the body language. And this will give us as much information and will be as important as the words that someone is saying. Something that we lose in the world of text. The second thing, put yourself in their shoes. When you agree with a speaker or even have an interest in what they have to say, what you are doing is very important. Imagine yourself in their situation, wanting only to have someone to listen to you. When they are speaking, make an effort to think of where they are coming from and why. Imagine what their life is like and what struggles they might be trying to articulate or have to face. People will appreciate that you made the effort to understand them and really hear them. The third thing, pick up on the key points when someone is talking to you. Many people have trouble focusing on what someone is saying, especially if they speak for longer than a minute or so. And I know that I'm talking for longer than that now. It's easy for our attention to drift off to something else that we might find more interesting or think more important. If that's the case, try to pick up on a few key points that the speaker makes. And after they finished making those points, take time to let them know that you've heard them by mentioning the key points you heard, or even invite them to clarify some of the things that they have said. The fourth thing, to practice active listening. Most people are thinking of how they're going to reply when someone is talking. I know I do that a lot. And instead of doing that, try to focus completely on what the other person is saying. Pretend that you'll be tested on how much of what they're saying you remember and understand. And you'll notice that it gets much easier when you focus on their words, when you aren't worrying about how you will respond or what you will say. And the fifth thing, be curious, be open-minded, 
and always be ready to grow. People who are naturally curious see conversations as learning opportunities. They listen because they want information. They are open to ideas. They want to see things differently. Or sometimes even, they want to know things that they've been thinking about. And so, instead of always having the reference as my point of view, being curious to listen to what another has to offer gives me a whole new dimension. You know, people who are curious are continuously looking for new opportunities and taking on new challenges. For them, listening to others becomes an easy and a natural way to continue on their own journey of growth as they absorb and listen to what others are telling them. And so we are invited to cultivate a curious and open mind so that we too can grow. And the skill of listening helps us to cultivate that mind. Listening, friends, is a wonderful gift to us and it is a gift that we can offer to one another when we learn and practice it as well as we can.